Hi, I'm here to show you SNAP. SNAP is a really creative environment for doing real computing by making programs. It's simple to get going and take your first steps, but you'll find the sky's the limit once you've learned some superpowers. All the things that serious computer scientists can do are possible in SNAP, which is a proper programming language. But we'll start with looking at a program made in SNAP. We'll look at how it works and how you can make your own. We're going to show you a program which draws a flower garden. Of course, we'll start with just one flower and then show, how, show you how you can make a whole host of them to create your own artistic masterpiece. This is a drawing we made on paper to plan what we wanted to make. We'd like a simple flower to start with, a green stem and a red triangle for the flower, a bit like a tulip. After starting Snap, you can see a white area on the right hand side of the screen, the stage. You can imagine you're looking down from above as though it was a piece of paper or a map. In the middle is an arrowhead which we call the turtle. We can make the turtle move, turn and draw on the stage. So we imagine that the turtle has a pen which it can lift up or put down when it wants to draw. In the middle of the screen there is a, step, a, a set of steps called blocks that can make a flower. By clicking on each of the blocks in the right order we can see the flower take shape. Each block makes something happen. So what do these blocks on the left do? Well let's first click on the clear block. Nothing appears to happen but what it does is to tidy up the screen if there were any leftover graphics so we could start fresh. Then pen up so we don't draw to begin with. Then go to X0, Y0. This puts the turtle back in the center of the screen, which is where it already is, so nothing is happening yet. And finally point in direction zero, which again the turtle's already doing, so we don't see anything this time. But what these four commands do on the left, they're called blocks, they make sure that the turtle's ready to draw the flower in the direction we want it to be. It's a kind of setup. The second set of blocks will draw the stem of the plant. Clicking on set pen size to 8 makes for a nice thick drawing. Clicking on set pen colour to green makes it the right colour. And pen down makes the turtle draw when we do move it, but still nothing's happening until we come to move 100 steps. Now we have a stem. I'm then going to turn 90 degrees to point the turtle to the right. Why are we doing that? Well, because we want to prepare to draw the flower in the right place after finishing the stem. So in the final set of blocks, I'm going to set pen color to red to make the flower at the top of the plant, move 40 steps, turn left 120 degrees, three times to draw a triangle at the top of the stem. So that's a good start. What's nice is if we snap the blocks together, I'm going to drag them and put them close, and when I let go, they connect. Then when we click the top block of that set, all those things are, are made to happen at once. So I can join up the other blocks. Click that just once and there's our green stem and finally join up these blocks and there's our flower like magic so going back to the beginning click on the first click on the first set of blocks it clears the screen sets up the turtle in the right direction click on the second set and it draws the stem and the third set draws the flower Neat, eh? But we can do one better. We can drag all of these together into one long set of blocks. And then if I click once at the top, it does the whole thing. We can't see it's done the whole thing, sadly, because it's only drawing on top of what's already there. So to prove that to you, I can separate the clear and do the clear, then reconnect them and do the whole lot at once. Bingo. 
although it's nice, it's a bit confusing now. We can't see clearly which parts of the program are which. So a really cool thing we can do is we can make our own blocks for each of the main three parts. And that really makes it very clear indeed. So first I'm going to break it back into the three parts. And then what I'm going to do is go to the Make a Block button in the bottom left corner here and click on it. I can give it a name. So the first name I'm going to do is Setup, which is for the first set of blocks. And then I get a little window which I can edit just this little set. And I'm going to drag them from the main window into there. And then if I click OK, down here at the bottom left of the screen, under Make a Block, I now have a thing called Setup. This is my block. And if I take it and put it onto the stage again here, we can use it just like before. Here I click on it and it clears the screen. If I wanted to change it, I can go and control click, let me, sorry, I can right click and edit. And there I could go and modify it. So I'm going to do the same thing for each of these. Let me call one um, stem, the green part of the, the flower. Drag those blocks into there. And there we can see stem down there. So let's take stem and add it to our program up here. And then finally make a block for the flower. And take those blocks and put those in there. Now I have set up stem and flower. Let's take flower and add it to there. And if I click on the first block, all three will get done. There we are. Magic. So now we have a very clear program telling us what to do. So finally, what would be nice is to make lots of flowers. At the moment, if I click on setup and stem and flower get executed too, we end up with just one flower because it's drawing the same flower on top of each other. So what I need to do is to change the setup so that it starts at different places each time. That's done by edit, right click on the setup block. And here where I put go to x0, y0, I want to just go to any old place on the screen. That's easy enough to do, but let's break it apart. And I can take the go to x0, 0 and drag it off to the left and that gets rid of it. And instead replace it with this block called go to. I'll slot that into place. And the trick is to use the little menu, pop-up menu, and choose random position. Click OK. So what I see is that, that when I click on these blocks, it does draw a flower in different places, but it doesn't show me the old flowers because I did the clear each time I set up. So if I edit the setup block and go in here and take that clear out, Put those back together again and then click OK. And now when I click on Setup and the rest of the blocks, it draws those flowers all over the place. And if I don't like what I can see, I can click on Clear and start again. So what I'd like to do now is to make another block which incorporates all these three blocks into one plant. So I'm going to call it plant and take each of those into there and click OK. Now I can see at the bottom I have plant and that allows me to then do several plants by dragging plants onto the screen like this add them to the clear at the start, and now when I click this set of blocks, four plants appear in different places. Sometimes hard to see when they uh, start close to the edge of the screen. So there we are, a, a pretty modest garden. Um, it would be nice not to have to put so many plants in one by one, and there's a nice new toy called Repeat, which we can use. I'm going to take this from the control blocks. Here we are. 
and drag one of my plants into repeat. And now my program does 10 plants. And the program is so simple to understand. So for your own uh, work, why don't you try um, creating the same program and think about making it even cleverer. For example, why not different colored flowers? Why not more petals on the flower? See what you can do.